everyone. I was in Costco about three weeks ago, and believe it or not, they already had Christmas songs playing in the store. That's like two months before Christmas. Of course, the soothing music was meant to entice me to spend money at my leisure long before the Christmas rush on items I possibly could ill afford. The advent logo for the big wholesale giants like Costco and Macro might run as follows. How many shopping days till Christmas? But we might all be cu caught up in this scenario. The birth of Christ in a poverty-stricken cave at Bethlehem is forgotten for a large swathe of people and in its place consumerism takes over, which can act like a drug. Christmas can be used as an excuse for indulging myself and not a lot to do with how I need to change to become a more loving person. Advent is a glorious time to make this reassessment. Without it, the celebration of Christ's birth will be hollow and lack any real depth. So it's not for nothing that one of the most poignant themes of Advent is simply to wake up. Firstly, we need to be awakened from spiritual slumber in order to recognise what the real meaning of Christmas is all about, as distinct from the eat, drink and make merry substitute foisted upon us by relentless advertisements in the run-up to this great feast. God became man at Christmas because he loves us and wants to save us from sin and selfishness and all that would harm us. He left, as the carol said, he left all his glory behind and taught us by word and example what we must do to share forever in his life. If that message sings in, then we will have taken on board the true happiness of Christmas. The Christmas noun, or maybe nuance, is joy, not a pleasure trip in midwinter. God became man on the first Christmas 2,000 years ago, or over that. After leaving all his glory behind and his royal throne, he came into the world as a helpless little baby and in more or less abject circumstances. As Pope Benedict said a few years ago, Christ was born in a stable in order to humble human pride. Now, it is pride which prevents me from waking up. If the centre of my life is myself, then the true message of Christmas will pass over my head. Conversion requires changing my attitude. Pope Francis said recently, Like Zacchaeus, I have to be willing to change long-held views on things which are not Christian or maybe downright unchristian. That can be a real tonic for some. And then he goes on, Conversion leads to humbly recognising my mistakes, my infidelities, and even my evasions. If I do that, I will indeed be preparing myself to celebrate the feast in a worthy manner and experience the joy of Christ at a deeper level, which will affect the members of my family and the parish and, and the people that I normally associate with in the wider community. Christ will, in a sense, be reborn in my life if I use Advent to reassess my relationship with Christ and what might be forestalling me from greater union with him. The Holy Father again puts it concisely when he said, Let us open the doors of our hearts wide for Christ this Advent. In this way, this sacred season will have borne us fruit. Now, thanks very much for listening and God bless you all.